So if you watched the video before, we're progressively going to get harder. Right here, we have y squared minus y minus 20 over y squared minus 3y minus 40. Well, I know in the last lesson we did x squared, but it doesn't matter. The variables are all the same, meaning when they're variables, we're going to treat them like variables. Again, the number one rule, though, and I'm going to stress this over and over, factor, factor, factor. We could factor by the greatest common factor. We could factor trinomials. Uh, we could factor in many different ways, whether it's difference of squares. So when we're simplifying rational expressions, if you see that on a homework or on test, remember, factor, factor, factor. Again, factor, factor, factor. It's going to help. So if we look at this, and we'll use another color, we'll do y squared minus y minus 20. Um, I'm going to go through the factoring a little bit faster now because hopefully you guys got a good grasp of doing that. Uh, but when we factor that, we do our x, and we know that that's a minus 1, and uh, this would be a minus 20. So two numbers that multiply to a negative 20 and add to a negative 1 would be negative 5 and 4. So if you guys got lost on that, we have lessons for factoring so you can understand where that's coming from. But if you're masters of this already, then you're completely understanding this. Good job. Okay, so now, uh, going back to the green, we know that this would factor out to y. Go ahead and I'll let, give you guys time to see if you can figure it out. Uh, it would be y minus 5 over y plus 4. Good. Now, uh, let's go ahead and do, oh, well, let, let's fix this really quick. I seem to have messed everything up for you guys. Um, I'm going to rewrite this, but while I'm doing this, guys, we have to remember that factoring is huge in this. Without factoring, we're not going to do anything right. So we have to make sure that we factor everything correctly. So y minus 5 over y plus 4. So, and we're going to put that all over whatever our factor is here. So let's go ahead and um, do that next. So we want to factor the denominator. Uh, if I were you guys, I'd kind of get started on that already, just so we can kind of get a grasp of what's going on here. Um, while we do that, let's get another color. So let's do y squared minus 3y minus 40. OK, perfect. Again, let's do the x. We drop down the minus 3, and we put our negative 40. OK, great. So what two numbers multiply to negative 40 and add to negative 3? Negative 8 times 5. Again, I'm going through that faster now because I hope you guys have a good understanding on it. Um, so down here, uh, going back to the original color, we have y minus 8 over y plus 5. Well, that does absolutely nothing for us, and sometimes that will happen on a test. So I know you're going to probably say, well, it doesn't factor out. Well, sometimes it's already simplified, and teachers do, at times, trick you like that. So I'm going to go ahead and change it up now. What if I put a plus 3 here? What would happen? What would happen there with the problem? Well, you can see how something automatically changes. Let's erase these right here, because if I were to have put a plus 3, then this would be a positive 3, that would be a positive 3, this would have to be a positive 8, and that would be a negative 5. Why? Well, because we have to find two numbers that add to positive 3, but multiply, right here, multiply to a negative 40. So what that does is this turns this into a plus 8, and this turns this into a minus 5. Now, when we get something like that, what do we do? Well, we know we can cancel it right out here, and then we're just left with y. Well, I'm going to go ahead and write it at the bottom. We're left with y plus 4, so I'll write that. We're left with y plus 4, and we're over y plus 8. Now, what I 
always tell my students, students always say, well, you could cancel out the 4 and you can cancel out the 8 here. And you actually can't because they're attached to the y by the plus sign. So if there was a minus sign or a plus sign, you cannot cancel out the 4 or the 8. It has to stay like that. So y plus 4 over y plus 8 is your answer. I have it in parentheses. You don't have to have it in parentheses. Um, you can keep it however you'd like. Uh, I just put it there. But it, it doesn't matter. You can also have it just y plus 4 over y plus 8. So what was the key again? Factor, factor, factor. You see, once you understand factoring, simplifying rational expressions just is that much easier.